the choice of the technique that we use depends on the assumptions that we can make. If we can make assumptions that we say we have distinct landmarks in the environment, we have certain sensing probabilities like if a um, sensor has a Gaussian error, we have certain estimation techniques which are well suited to solve that problem. If we say we, have, we don't have landmarks, we just want to build a dense model of the environment, so really represent all the physical surfaces, for example, in the sea. We may use something else. Or if we say we have really, really weird sensing, ca uh, sensing properties, like this, it's not at all Gaussian, it's some other weird multimodal distribution, then other estimation techniques could be used in order to get a good estimate. So all these estimation techniques make assumptions, and some may be more restrictive in their assumptions, but then, let's say, easier to implement, more efficient to execute, it can have an advantage if I can assume that these um, assumptions hold for the technique that I'm investigating. Or I may relax some assumptions, just make it computationally more expensive, um, and, but that's kind of, kind of the choice of the designer. And we will look into three different paradigms here. One is the Kalman filter and family, which is made for Gaussian distributions. We have particle filter-based techniques, which can have multimodal distributions, and we have um, graph-based approaches, which often assume Gaussians as well, but can relax it to a certain degree and better deal with outliers. They're computationally sometimes more uh, 